So uh, where are we at? Right now we're at our uh, most recent store, opened two or three days ago. It's uh, close to Nørreport on Frederiksborgade. And actually the first store where we uh, separated the, the coffee and, um, and the juice and the sandwich. Uh, the coffee is on top, so we have like a separated coffee lounge upstairs. Um, and then we have the juice and the sandwich, which is, um, which is uh, in the bottom. It also means that basically our customers typically choose either to go for the coffee or uh, choose the sandwich. Uh, we have the till station, we have a juice station, we have a sandwich station, we have a coffee station. So we will typically have four people working at any time. And it also means because we want to make everything fresh, that we are a little heavier in the whole people side of the business. So it, it costs more to run and join the juice than it would for some cafe where we would have prepared 15 sandwiches this morning. That's also why the locations are so important. We need to be where there's a lot of people. Uh, otherwise, it all just, you know, comes to a stop. We try and go upstairs and see. There's a couple of details, which is sweet. Being a big fan of Starbucks, it became my my ambition to make a a concept where you could you could provide the same uh, attractive surroundings uh, with the healthy products and the qualitative fresh products all over. So that basically became an extension of what Starbucks started 30 years ago. We're in the coffee lounge right now. Uh, as we talked about to start out with, we separated the two and as you can see again, a couple of the juicers. Stein in the back, who's the bar manager here with all the ugly tattoos. It's important for us to make money, to be able to build a business, but also we acknowledge that we have to spend our lives on this. And we're probably never going to be billionaires anyway. So at the end of the day, you know, the, the, the sad thing would be to turn around when you're 60 saying we didn't even have fun. <laughs> Basically, we don't talk about that, but I don't know, what do you think? 2,500, 3,000 juices a day? And that is uh, here, or is it like in... Uh... I, I wish. No, that's like all over. We have, uh, what do we have? 12, 13 stores here in Denmark, 13 stores here in Denmark, and two in London. So 15 stores. The question is whether we will be able to build this into a big business, because uh, I'm sure that that the right management would be able to. So that's that's more our responsibility, really. So do you believe that this is going to be a, a lot bigger? Than yes. That's the short answer. Yeah, but I'm also very certain. So Was that my coffee, uh, sir? Thanks. If somebody who doesn't know how to make coffee is making my coffee, and it still costs 40 kroner, you know, I don't see how, how that's fair. So, so we really, we really do what we can to to make sure that all the juicers in the stores are fully trained and very comfortable before they enter their first shift. Uh, and at the end of the day, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, no, we had fun. So uh, we're we're definitely not there yet, and I'm not sure we wanna do 14,000 stores, but uh, we'll 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 aim for for a thousand at least, I think.